but don't make the low quality stuff look that extremely low quality. Well, we gotta save it in the budget. Alright, cool. Why why does everyone look like Nezuko now with the two dots? And like ju- just a weird little line because they're like, I'm being stupid. I'm like, Yeah. Why? Budget cuts. Remember, budget cuts. Okay. Uh, I kind of uh, wish that uh, Shadow was here right now, because uh, Shadow has started to uh, watch Jujutsu Kaisen. Um, I told him the exact way to watch Jujutsu Kaisen, which is the only way to watch Jujutsu Kaisen. Uh, you gotta watch Hidden Inventory from Season 2, which is like five-ish episodes. From there you go and you watch uh, JJK Volume 0, and then you start Season 1, Episode 1 watch the whole season uh when you get back into season two you skip over hidden in- inventory and then you start chibuya because they pulled a beautiful star wars on us juice cast in season two um i could spoil the shit out of everything for you guys but you have to learn suffer and figure it out for yourselves uh i'm not gonna give mm-hmm. it to you um but do do know uh it is game of thrones right now in the in the shibuya arc no one is safe i will see you in therapy all right so <laughs> I uh, was on a uh, TikTok live the other day uh, with my boy uh, Henny Black and a few other people, um, and one of them recommended me a show, so I started watching it. But it has like basic hero shit. It's called King's Raid: Successor of the Will. Um, okay. The literal first like thirty seconds before the intro is this dude. Destroying this big ass monster. Come to find out, they're demons. They don't call any monster monster. They just call them demons. I'm like, that's that's a that's a skeleton walking towards me, and you're calling that a demon. All right, where don't they stop the wings? I where, mean, where, where, where's the dark aura around it? Because to me, that's an undead, but not the point. Um, well, there I, are different classes of demons. I know, I know. Um, so basically, like a uh, hundred years before the start of the show, there was a invasion of demons um and this one specific king or technically the prince uh was blessed with a specific sword from a specific goddess he then used that sword to wipe out like 99.99 percent of the army and was able to severely injure the demon king and push him back to his world however the moment the battle was over he disappeared so his his homies was like, yo, let's put some seals on the sword so no one can, like, just randomly take it. And also, like, when his descendant pops up, like, they're, they're right there. Like, the sword, like, they just come find us. We we unlock the, the things that we have, the barriers on it, and then the sword's there. It's full powered. And the MC we follow, like, do you find this out? Episode 2. So, kind of semi-spoilers. Uh, but the MC is the man's son from a hundred years ago there there's a lot of backstory there but apparently they like froze his mom in time while she was pregnant with him and then as they got closer to like what would have been the second coming of the demon king uh they like released her from it so that she could give birth and the kid could grow and like you know get some training and then go and get the sword and that's that's it by episode two you know that episode two this is 26 episodes uh it's kind of like we're going on a mission we encounter the bad guys, and then after that, right after after we encounter the bad guys, now we gotta fight. Now I have to prove our worth to my dad's old friend that doesn't age, because one's an elf, one's an orc, and then one is something else that I, I didn't pay a uh, dwarf. So they they don't age like humans do, and I'm like, yo, this is mini One Piece over here. If you don't get your <laughs> bullshit <laughs> tiny having that. If you, whatever, um, and then there, mm-hmm. there's like some side drama that's happening, uh, because the mm-hmm. king from a hundred years ago, he had an older half sister, who was a dark elf, but she like got corrupted while she was like learning shit to help her brother, um, and then like all the dark elves were like casted out of the kingdom, they were hunted down. There's maybe like thirty of them left now, maybe, maybe. I think it's actually a little bit less. Um, and they're just trying to, like, take back the kingdom. So while while homie's on a mission... <laughs> while homie's on a mission to get the sword to save everyone, the whole world, 
there's a side mission of a we got to get these royals out of here man we got to mark all the humans man i'm like if you don't get yo evil having ass out of my face uh i mean it's entertaining enough for me to watch so i i ain't gonna complain about that season two jobless reincarnation I thought the show couldn't get worse. I, I really thought the show could not get any worse. It did. I hated your warning. That's the crazy thing. He still watched it, y'all. After he told me. I got to see it through, though. I got, I'm too invested in the story to not see it through. When I wanted to watch it and suffer, you were like, nah, don't do it. Don't do it. You know what? Just for this? Just for this? You, right? It, you want to? Go ahead. Go ahead. But I'm not stopping you. Of I'm any not of the only going to suffer like that. I'm not going to just suffer like that. You know what? I'm going to do something that I was told never do. <laughs> what? You know. Can you stop picking your imaginary beard? <laughs> Listen, I won't say it on here. But I, I, I'm going to watch not editing. only... We're not live this time. And I actually am recording. <laughs> That's fine. I mean, it's it's growing, okay? The, yeah, the it's little, here. Little soul, yeah, a little soul patch. You know, I'm trying to make sure that it goes down straight, okay? I have a guest in-house, and his shit looks exactly like the master from Kill Bill. We're not going to talk about that. Yes. Right now. I've yes. never seen it. I've never seen it. You've never seen Kill Bill? Any of them. Uh, yeah, Jobless Reincarnation Season 2. Um, it got worse, way worse, before some semblance of okay. Um, just as I was starting to watch Season 2, because they're dubbing it, um, I saw a video where a dude's like, hey, if you like Jobless Reincarnation, if you're still watching Jobless Reincarnation, uh, I, I don't trust your, your anime opinion no more. And I'm like, bruh, shut up. <laughs> take take your L because you had to leave your first podcast that you created because you didn't like where it was going. Because you had no creative control because you were a bitch. And then, and then you made another one and you tried to use alliteration like we do. But there's also another podcast that uses alliteration almost exactly like we do. Our names are just different enough. And I'm like, damn, that must suck that we, literally two smaller content creators, took your shit. Damn, that's a double L. Bet. This man is holding the mic. I'm just waiting for the mic drop. I, nah, like, it, you, you try and be like, I'm better than you. I'm smarter than you. I'm stronger than you, right? That that sounds from TikTok. Be like, I'm better. I'm stronger. I, I know it's from uh, the 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 boys. Yeah, that, I know that's from Homelander. It sounds like it's from Homelander. Yeah, it, it's from um the boys. But still haven't seen it. Um. But yeah, uh, Sorry. I mean it's it's a little bit. I, I still haven't. I still haven't. Nah, nah. So. So let let me get into like the thought process of why I was like, yo, I really want to talk about the shit I've been seeing, cause I was homesick for two weeks. I was I was bed I was bedridden for two weeks. I couldn't do anything. I hated it. Oh yeah, work out. Remember? So I went on an isekai binge, a heavy isekai binge. I hold on. I watched so much isekai. I went through 10 shows in a matter of four days. My proudest moment? No, but I did. Job it it is, so is, is, is Jobless Reincarnation. We're, we're, we're not going to talk about Jobless Reincarnation because I, I can talk about that in another episode. Uh, No, 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 no. I only got recently got into that. Isekai Cheat Magician. Um... This one kind of starts off weird, because this time they're both transported. It, it's, uh, they wanted the boy, pause, um, and his friend from school that they were, like, walking to school together. She's like, don't leave me alone. And then they both get transported. And, like, they end up being just, like, really powerful, and then they get taught by, like, the most powerful uh, sorceress, witch, whatever it is. Um, 
the kid, and the kid ends up being, being a step above. He ends up being like a summoner, so he can summon like any specific spirit. So like the spirit of wind, fire, whatever, and like he can control them. But it's kind of like making a contract with them. And I'm like, yo, that's dope. I like that. Save that shit for another day. The summoning jutsu, essentially. Hmm. The summoning jutsu, essentially. Essentially. Yeah, you you had to sit there and think about it. I'm like, I you mean, you don't remember signing the contracts, putting your hand on the scroll. Yeah, but he was said I he can't just be like I summon you. He has to be like, bitch, arrive, get in front of my face. Like he he has to be aggressive. I'm like, when spirit, why why you sound like you're trying to open up a kink over here? This this don't make no sense to me, none at all. I think we all know what that is. My unique skill makes me OP even at level one. My glicky. My glicky. Right? And then, hold on, and, hold and on, and hold on, hold on. My glicky. And I'm like, hey, ain't no way, bro. Oh, that just, uh, uh, so, uh, my uh, glicky. Oh, man, that just. Uh, so, so we follow this uh, businessman, right, who hates his life. And then somehow, like, he, he doesn't die, but he just gets, like, transported as a drop item for a slime in a dungeon. And he's like, oh, I'm only level two, but my, like, drops Is this and the same universe? Di- different show, different show. No, no, but I'm saying same universe, though. Nah, dude was a businessman, like, in Japan. And then somehow... Mm-hmm. A slime was killed, and he got transported in as the drop for the slime. Yeah, I'm saying, is it the same no. universe? Like, I know it's a different show. Damn, no. it, it sounds like it. It, it sounds like it, two though. Things. Two, two, two different universes. The real world Damn. and the East Sky world. No, 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 no. I'm following that. I'm saying as far as, like, within the anime multiverse. Do you get where I'm going with it now? Nah. Okay, so you said the slime got killed, right? Mm-hmm. And then he became an item drop mm-hmm. for the slime. Yeah, but he, he popped out, like, as himself. Not as, like, a specific item. He popped out. Like, he was transported as yeah. he himself. He is alive. That's he fine. Is alive. That's fine. But the way how you were explaining at first without the explanation... It sounded like he was transported to the same universe as reincarnated as a slime. Oh, Think about nah. it. Yeah, yeah, nah. yeah. That's why I was like, is so, it the so same this world, universe? This world has dungeons, right? And each dungeon, like the first level is normal. The first couple levels is normally slimes, and then their item drops are different. Some drop meat, some drop vegetables, another drops items, one drops money. I was like, wait, what? One drops. Good money. as gold. Goldio. Well, Godingo. Um, Pokemon reference right there. You know, go ahead. So, Cypher. So, um, he ends up getting really strong, but he never gets past like level one or two or some shit like that. But his health and everything goes all the way to S rank. So he is literally the strongest person at the lowest level. Which is a great transition to strongest sage with the weakest crest. I've so, never seen it. You you could you could like not watch it. You can if you want, but like not. I, I feel I, I I feel hurt just by the so just by the title. Nah, so we we start off this dude. He's extremely overpowered. He has three of these four like crests. But the one he specifically wants is the one that is great for fighting. Everything else, one is for building, one is for um, like casting and protection, whatever it is, more even like technology for like that matter. But he wants the one that's good for fighting because he's great at fighting. But he doesn't have that specific crest on him. He's like, you know what? You're born with whatever crest you're born with. So you know what? I've taken care of a lot of the monsters in the land. Time to restart. 
and then homie just reincarnates himself into like a thousand years into the future. I'm like, if this don't sound like misfit of of uh, of the Demon Academy, I don't know what is. It's more lighthearted. Definitely more lighthearted. And yeah, it's okay. It's cute. But just the, I'll plead the fifth. But just like the the misfits one, uh, he got two bitches to follow him around like crazy. I would like to plead the fifth. So another show I recently watched because you only sent me one. Vermilion and Gold. Okay. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I think that's a good enough uh, answer. Yes. But this this man just <laughs> tried rizzing half the world within the podcast. It's crazy. No, this man no. became me. It's crazy. Hey, I, I, I let y'all be, be yourselves for like two years. But I'm like, no, I can't join into the chaos. I can't do it. And then it's like, I'm here. <sighs> Hi. Hey, hey, I ain't hating. I'm just saying it's crazy out here. But, you know, welcome. You know, we've been waiting uh, for you, sir. In this world of uh, magic, you are in school for seven years. Um, and the only way you can graduate from first year into second year, if not, you have to repeat it. You have to be able to form a contract with a creature, right? A special magical creature you summon, right? Like Naruto with the summoning jutsu. This, this one's a little bit more... <laughs> Like the summoning jutsu for Naruto, it is like an actual contract, but you only get one. So you like you know it doesn't matter, like the toads. You make a pact with the toad community. This one is like oh I'm making a pact with this specific toad. So you no, I mean screwed if you was Naruto in this world. No, nah, summoning Gakichi no, as a baby. Not not necessarily. So like here's the thing. Naruto made multiple contracts at once. Because he made a contract with Chief Toad. So because he made it with the Chief Toad, he has access to all the other ones. But if you look at Sasuke, he only made it with one, which was the huge snake. Just like Lady Katsuyu or Sakura. Not just because of the um, legendary Sonning trio being repeated. But like again, Naruto, he went straight to the head of the table. So that's why he gets the whole community. They, they already like, hey, yo, you know, your family, technically, your father was here. Your father's father was here. Your godfather was here. But um, you still got to earn your shit. And he just happened to be lucky enough to get the chief to pop in in that one fight. True. But yeah, I get what you mean. Uh, so this one kid, I forget his name. His name's it's the MC. But anytime he tries to summon anything, nothing shows up. And he's like, damn. And then this one book like falls on his head when he's in the library, and he's like, "Yo, this book is old. <sighs> it's dusty too. Let me go back to my room." So Man with the plan. <laughs> exactly, exactly. If you see, Man you've with seen the plan. It, you have seen it. Yeah, that that I, I have you seen it? Hold on, have you seen it? I haven't seen it, but you see, here's the thing: we've all done it. It's like, hold on, wait a second. This shit looks old. And powerful. Let me go hurry up to my room. Let me go wash the dishes, do everything I need to do so I don't get interrupted. Next thing you know, next day, they like, how the fuck you learn this shit? Don't worry about that. Just know I'm better. I'm better. I'm better. <clears throat> they want me more than ever. So he then is able to summon like one of the, I think it's one of seven uh, calamity uh, monsters, demons. Um, and then they form a contract. Now, something that is relatively stated, but not, like, it's more hinted at instead of divulged into, is that um, Demon's mana is gold. His mana sometimes is gold, sometimes is silver. So he, powerful, from the jump, like, the jump, he's, like, he just has that much mana. That's why, and the the chick even explained. He, she's like, that like that's why no other thing that you've tried to do works. Because you have way too much, and every other creature is afraid of you. But see me, I want you. Now give me some good mana, and I'm like, hey, yo, pause. 
Like, I, I know the manga is so much more explicit because there are moments where I'm like, he getting it in. I, I know in my soul of souls, in the heart of my cards, I know he getting it in. But it don't want to show it because it's anime. So just make the... It. Listen, just make the hentai version. That's it. Bet. Speaking just make of, the hentai. Speaking of a hentai version, Domestic Girlfriend. Thank you for that transition. Um, what, why are we still talking this? about... Nah, I just saw it. I just saw it the other day. I, I'm, I'm not shitting. Oh, oh so, like so two, you finally... So, so you won't be mad at me no more is what I'm hearing because I sat there and I watched it and enjoyed it. Oh, I loved it. The, yeah. the, the drama, the your, story, your, I was like... Your, your life has changed like now, isn't novella. it? Yeah, yeah, your life changed now, isn't it? See? So, and I was sitting here like the bad guy, like, oh, you're, you're so wrong. So wrong for everybody. Y'all told me I was the bad guy here. I'm like, how am I the bad guy? Okay, first off, again, random Wait, chick on. pulls hold up on stop, you stop, and stop, is stop, like, is, is this where, where your love for NTR began? No. Okay, cool. That's because <laughs> of somebody else. So, so this random chick pulls up to you while you're at a co-ed mixer, right? And she right, sees how and you're it's the, like... And you're the only timid one. And she's like, I want you. Let's get out of here. You get out of there. Both of y'all lose your V-cards to each other, right? You're both timid, so like it... She's like, I would rather lose it, like, in a place where I have power instead of a place where, like, you know, I'm being taken advantage of. I'm like, oh... This feels weird, but I'll let it slide. I'll. <laughs> I felt like Doctor Strange ninety mm-hmm. percent of the time while watching this. I was like, "That's weird," but I'll allow it. Right. And, and then, right. Then, we cut, then we cut to the school, and then he sees his teacher crying. He's like, "Hey, teach like, why are you crying? Like, trying to riz her up. So much riz." And then she's like, yeah, "Right." Students shouldn't worry about what their teachers are doing. Eh. And then she runs away. Mm-hmm. Girl gets home. Mm-hmm. Dad's on the phone laughing. He's like, "All right, cool." Dad, yeah. Yeah. Dad knocks on his room. Yeah. Hey. Um, so I, I'm getting I've married, been, son. I, I've been talking to this woman. And, nah, he know, ain't she, say that. She, she she got a pre-started family, and uh, we're we're thinking of getting married. What do you think about that? Well, you know, Dad. Uh, my mom's been dead for about ten years, so you deserve a shot at some happiness. Yeah. Do it. He's like, oh, okay, great. They're outside right now, and she has two kids. He steps outside, and don't get me wrong, the mom is beautiful. Like, I look at her, I'm like, damn. We, we, we don't get the mother that shit. Y'all hold dad. Step uh, out, looks beautiful. You turn to the corner, there's a girl you lost your V-card to, and there's a teacher that you have a crush on. And uh-huh. then, uh-huh. And then yeah. The, yeah. the triangle begins. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But let's Let's go. That, that. What was it? There we. That is some story the, the writing manga, right the there. Manga, the manga just recently ended earlier this year, but they have yet to officially translate any of it. So I'm pissed because I Look, listen. I want the dirty, juicy details. I want the remainder of the story after twelve episodes. Right. I, right. I uh-huh. need it. You you need it. You you need it for your soul, right? I, I've gone I've gone too far deep, enjoyed too much <laughs> to not want to have it in my hands. Like, uh huh. You know. Yeah. I'm like, all right, cool. Mm-hmm. Let's go and buy it. Amazon does not support the purchase of this. What do you mean Amazon don't support the purchase? Let me go to eBay. <laughs> and then you only see it in Japanese. I was like, no. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. Join us in the suffering, but I'm glad you joined the dark side. You you know how how does it feel? Nah, look look at me, cause I'm looking in the camera. So I I need you to look at me. How how you feel now? You, your look life has looking. changed. I'm naked. Uh bro, I I was I was flabbergasted. Is that not some I, beautiful? Is it not beautiful? It's okay, I'm just not, saying. Like so, it's 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 a lot, bro. It's it's a lot of drama. I I literally felt like I was watching a soap opera, and I was like, "But it was Hold better." On. 
This is spicy. But but the one thing that bothers me, the one thing that really, really bothers me is the the uh, lit- literature club teacher. I think, and I could be wrong because I haven't read the manga, but I think he was getting it in with the student. He played it off and the MC bought it. Because right towards the end, some shit goes sideways and he says to to teacher, he's like, Man, this just sucks because you got caught. So now every teacher is going to be on the radar. I was like, ah. he didn't say that. He was like, oh, like, no, you got caught. Like, it, it is what it is. You have to suffer for, your, for the consequences of your actions. I'm like, wait, you say that. And what it what's implied. Is so so you didn't know. So so hold on. Wait a I, second. I, I had a feeling. I had a feeling. I, I don't want to dive wait, into wait. Too, too, too much time into it. Oh, hold on, nah, because it needs to be because that that goes into the hentai. Yeah, you know that's my domain now, right? So representing the uh, foundation, just letting you know, um, nine times out of ten you are gonna see that within some hentai. And regardless, again, he said he got caught, right? Yeah, the, Cle- clear the as day. Out, yeah, clear clear as day. He. he it's already known that he was doing it. Let, let's be honest here. Like, there has to be at least one. It, it's not. It's not a part of the culture if there ain't at least one doing it. Now I get you know it's in the story. It's in the plot. It's you know weird, it's the though. main bread and butter. It's weird though. It might be weird. I'm not going to sit here like, and hold. One, one is less weird than the other, but that's like. It's only less weird because of the way how it's presented. Again, your main course <laughs> meal is exactly that whole situation. Just added details, okay? It is a whole Thanksgiving dinner with extra mac and cheese on the plate. Is it not? Because it's the same thing. You got fried chicken from Popeye's and you got fried chicken that your mom made for Thanksgiving. Only difference is you know that it's the fried chicken for Thanksgiving with the extra mac and cheese. Yes, I, I did the play on words there. You're thinking correctly. <laughs> All right, speak, speak, speaking of an extra helping of uh, food, Demon Slayer Season 3. I finally watched it while, while I was, like, out. Uh, now that Yo, I did watch. Wild. Yeah. Wild. So. Yeah. Where, where, so there was three animation studios working on this, and you could clearly tell where one was because of like all the dramatic moments that took a few more seconds. Super detailed, amazingly detailed. But then once you get past that, then you have some stupid scenes, and I'm like, I know a serious moment when I see one. I know a goofy one when I see it. But please, for the love of God, stop having. The goofy ones look so low budget. I understand all the budget went to the the super detailed scenes. The suspenseful scenes. <laughs> I understand that. But don't make the low quality stuff look that extremely low quality. Well, we gotta save it in the budget. Alright, cool. Why why does everyone look like Nezuko now with the two dots? And like, ju- just a weird little line because they're like, I'm being stupid. I'm like... Yeah. Why? Budget cuts. Remember, budget cuts. Uh, honestly, I, I loved it. I just hate the fact that the next arc, which is the longest arc before like the final one, is now being put in movies. It's going to be three movies. But you, you know why. kind of don't care. Mm-hmm. But you're going to say it anyways, because I don't. Oh, no, I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. Hey, guess what? Oh, nothing. <laughs> Jackass. Uh, right? Reign, Reign of the Seven Spellblades this is actually something that's coming out right now. Um, there's two okay. episodes left. Um, honestly, I don't know what to tell you. Because there's like two different plots going on. Right? The, which is the MC and his school friends as they go about their schooling life as swordsmen slash magicians, okay? 
their wands are their swords. Like, literally. That's fine. Okay, so Maji Maji Ranger. However, there's a subplot. Okay. The subplot is shown for all of, like, five minutes. And you don't see it again. Because the MC is trying to avenge his dead mother. Okay, spin that shit. So, yeah. <laughs> Throw them hands! Yo, that's the funniest. I'm not gonna lie. That <laughs> dude went ultra uh, 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 ultra um, viral so fast. He's like, Throw them hands! You know I, I destroy planets for fun. So show them hands! He's like, nah. And he's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. So you, you're trying to win by like throwing in the cheat code? Like, you can't box for real. He's like, oh, my mama. I, I'm North, South, East, West, King, and Queen Kai. I, I, I battle with gods. Show me then! <laughs> funniest, funniest thing ever, bro. I find it absolutely... And anytime I, anytime someone's like, oh, dude, we, we go... Like, uh, last night in Discord where you're like, oh, I'm getting um, Blaziken tonight. I'm like, show them hands! Like, that's, that's the voice that was going through my mind. Show me then, right? Oh, I definitely had the hands with Blaziken last night. I know you saw it. It just pissed me off because my teammates were ass. They were straight up ass. Oh, I'm killing the Mewtwo. But, but, I'm like, like bro. But like, there I am around the corner. You're like, I'm dying. No, you're not. All right, let, let, let's go grab that that rigid like. Right. Uh, <laughs> and then when it, when I was like, yo, I got your follow up because you were like, oh shit, I'm dying. I was like, nah, come back. Just just finish the job. I'm gonna die for you, right? And he still didn't pick it up. I was like, bro, how? How? He's he's literally a one tap. Oh, I went too far away. Yeah. No, there there are times where like, cause I I love using Greninja and double team, but I'm having my thing go back, and sometimes it mm-hmm. will push me back instead of pushing me forward. Though none of the characters you like, I I have to time it beautifully because it's Mewtwo and the slug one, that they can pull me back. So I wait oh, for yeah. them to pull me back while I'm still going the other way, and then I throw it. Because they almost both throw it the exact same time to pull me back. Oh, That's yeah, because the they, they want you. Uh, yeah, the, the sorry, the MC <laughs> is trying to get his lick back for his mom that died with his, uh, like, I'm not sure if it's his step-sibling, half-sibling, or actual regular siblings. Um, but they're trying to murk everyone that was part of the reason I'm part of the... Died because his mom got jumped and it was by like one or two people it was by seven bitches i shit you not six six of them were were like out in the woods trying to fight her and then the other one helped her escape and then the one that helped her escape finished her job i was like you bitch <laughs> when i catch you principal all right sage squad those not a part of the sage squad but you still seeing this message it's important all right i know you get tired playing the game especially on unite i always say get high off of potions all right special item right there give you a little bit more life give you a little bit more energy right damn close combat into this w right here all right that's what I'm talking about. Get the W with W. That's what I'm talking about. Okay? Use my code. It's going to pop up somewhere. Not sure where. But you're going to use that code. Get 10% off your next order. The caffeine. All right? And it's not just that alone. It also comes with great vitamins on the inside. So if you do want to use this as pre-workout, Cause we know you like going to the gym. Don't you sit here and lie, okay? Me as a Lucario main, I know we like to fight. So that means we gotta stay ready. You know, we gotta pump that iron. You know what I'm saying? Purchase WD Code Sage EJ. When I catch you, principal. When I catch you. So. It's gonna go all the way up. Nothing can stop me. Speaking of stopping uh, at nothing, this anime is is a weird one. The Eighth Son. Are you kidding me? Um, we followed the MC that was reincarnated. 
I forget if he just died or if whatever. But he was reincarnated into this world, and he is the eighth son of this like really poor rich family. I know there's poor and then there's rich poor. Doesn't make sense, but whatever. No, so, that so makes he, sense. So he ain't getting no inheritance. Doesn't matter what happens. He's not getting anything. However, he does have um, an attribute for magic. And magic users, nine times out of ten, or sorry, ten times out of ten, always end up taking the noble's land for himself. Because magic users are that powerful. Like, they're rare, which is what, like, helps them. Like, people have magic, but, like, most times people are knights, soldiers. Or they're, like, just regular people doing regular shit. But magicians... They hold a lot of power. And basically this kid learns from this elf. Who's like the only like good father figure to him. Because his father is stupid. His father is illiterate. I was like, yo, that's so sad. <laughs> Dad can't read. <laughs> that's why we have no books in the library. I'm like, Damn. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Facts. <laughs> um, Listen, that might be your father, but he ain't your daddy. Uh, the only real sad part is that um, the the he ain't your da- uh, he may be your dad but he, he ain't your daddy thing uh, he dies like very early on in the story like maybe episode two. Oh, that's some bullshit. Well, that no. So so he he caught like a magical illness, which turns oh, you which turns you into like a daywalker, and because it, he's did an it, elf, he could go on oh, forever. Fuck, I know. Fuck all that shit. Bad. It was very. I fuck cried. all that shit. I cried. I'm ready to cry now, and I haven't even read the shit. Fuck shoot, all that. Shoot him hands. <laughs> uh, so the kid ends up getting like really strong, really overpowered because he ends up training away from his family, and his oldest brother has a suspicion that he's, um, becoming, uh, like that he uh, can wield magic. So his older brother automatically starts getting jealous and bitter towards him because he's like, "I'm the first son. This shit belongs to me." And then we follow the kid on his journey, the king of, like, the whole big-ass island that they live on, the country, whatever, starts a plot behind the scenes, and he's like, I want him to take over that land, because there's also a shit ton of other land that can be developed for the betterment of not only his part of the country, but for the country as a whole. <clears throat> I'm like, yo. <clears throat> I was like, oh, okay, he's he's actually not that bad of a person. All right, bet. And then he ends up like just murking bitches left and right. And he he has one uh, very unique magic skill amongst like magic users, which is purification, which is a type of light magic. Uh, like he can't use healing, but he can use purification. So he can like if something's like corrupted or like a you know in Team Rocket where they like capture. And they put them almost under a spell. And then you purify them. He does that. That's like yeah. what he does. Yeah. But you see. I, I'm, may, maybe I'm wrong here. Right? You said the king just starts going off to murk people. Because I think we all know no, what that not, is. Not not the king. Not the king. The kid. The kid The kid has the purification. He has normal like magic spells. And then mm-hmm. he has the rare ability of purification. Which is like. No. Super but rare I'm ability. saying. Who went to go murk people? No one. The the kid does. You like, said all somebody. The, the kid does all the killing. Oh. No one else. Oh. Does. Like there there are those older than him that like are trying to like throw him on the right path and try to like stop people from trying to assassinate him. But besides that, I recommend. I recommend it. if you if you're looking for a show to like just. Eh. I got some time. Oh, you you already know. I'm a hopeless romantic, so when you give me the mic... Speaking of hopeless romantic, you might like this one. Raven of the Inner Palace. No? You haven't heard of it? Met met title. No, I haven't heard of it, but it it has a met title. Yeah, you know? It's relatively meh. Um, The Raven Consort, even though her name is Raven Consort, uh, she does not do any nightly duties. Um, it, it's explained like so much later into the story, which I'm like, if you had said this in the beginning, would make a little bit more sense instead of just following her as she like does her little like weird hoodoo voodoo shit. Um, that 
the king of the country is chosen by the gods and his like you know right hand man basically is the raven consort they're both chosen by their specific gods and they have to be together like they don't have to be together but they have to like be on the same side they can't be on uh, in, in opposing factions so it's her journey of like you know i have to teach the next raven consort and then i die while well, he's like the king is having feelings for her and he's like well i just need your help like you no know, figuring out who uh who, who sent that hit out on my mom when i was a kid <laughs> and and then from there it like goes into like all these like little mini stories i'm like oh it's cute and then like they kind of end up together it's cute it's very cute if you got it's 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 like a five for me really but it, it was cute because i needed something to watch and i needed a little palate cleanser from all the isekai i had like just watched i was like you know what this sounds really nice <laughs> so it's, eh. you, you, you know like it, it it sounds like some cute shit but it ain't it ain't what i'm looking for you know okay. i'm looking for that okay that, i'm well, looking for that in kind of like throw them hands shit right a kind of shift uh, campfire cooking nah. in another world with my absurd skill. Uh, dude gets isekai randomly. Like, he was near some people that were getting isekai, so he got isekai, and his random skill is online shopping. Funniest shit ever. Funniest shit ever. Like, What's his random skill? Online shopping. So, in this fantasy world, he can access Amazon shipping, buy it, and it get delivered right in front of him. He ain't got to use no extra magic, no nothing. This thing is online. <laughs> I'm asleep. So, hey, and well, hold on. So the MC ain't powerful, but he he be cooking. Like, literally, he be cooking so much that he attracts um, a Fenrir, right? They create a pact. And the Fenrir is strong and scary because he's like, hey, man, this tastes good. And it's like, nah, it's poison, man. That tingling sensation is poison. You just have an immunity to it, you bastard. Sure. Um, and like, yeah, yeah, it's 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 funny because of their back and forth. But the sad part is that they don't have it dubbed in English. But the great part is that I was able to flex my Portuguese because they have it dubbed in Brazilian Portuguese. So I saw that all in Portuguese. First anime I've ever watched, all in Portuguese. I'm not gonna lie. There were some words, some phrases that completely slipped my mind. I was like, "What do you? What do you? What did he say?" <laughs> and I'm just like, "Huh?" And then, like two lines later, I was like, "Oh, context clues. Okay, now that makes sense." Um, and the Fenrir is also like always hungry. Um, it's like feed me. Like how I'm about to be as soon as we done recording because I gotta figure out some food. Cool. Now this one was a little bit weird. If you see Monster Mizume, um, you might like. This wait, one. wait, 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 wait. Repeat the name. If you see Monster Mizume, you might oh. like this one, which is Monster Ooh. Girl Doctor. <sighs> I'm telling you, you might have to. I watched way too much TV <laughs> when I was out for like two weeks. Oh yeah, you clearly did. Yeah. Because I'm like, damn, bro. I already, I just said I have. I've been trying to work hard. You know, I got my W stuff re reinstated. Um, I'm trying to start a second job. This man out here binging anime like it's nothing. I'm like, yo. I was out for two weeks. So th- I was out for two weeks. I needed something to do. I said, might as well do some research. You're right. You're right. Like, again, if you but, like this um, you, resume, you, you, you like this one. It's, it's, uh, it's, hold on. Hold on. It's hold on. You said monster what? Monster girl doctor, right? Right? Is that what you said? Yeah. 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 Uh huh. There we go. Uh huh. <laughs> go ahead. Keep talking. Keep, keep talking. Um, so, in this world, there are humans and monsters, and a human decides to be a doctor for monster people. Um, okay. Okay. And uh, it just gets really unnecessarily nerdy sometimes. It's nice. It's funny. It has its humor. It, it has less cringe. I think because it like shows are having less and less cringe, I'm having more and more respect for them. 
Hold, hold on, wait. This looks like the same them. universe, though, because why nah, does the man. harpy look the same? No, nah. but the harpy looks dead ass the same. Nah, fam. I mean, I have. I, last time I saw the show was like four years ago. But but like the harpy they, looks they, the same. They not. They probably done by the same company or the same dude, but not. They they don't appear to be in the same universe because in in that universe, right? Monsters are starting to be intermingled so you can't have mixed babies yet no but that doesn't stop them from you know everyday trying. life aggressively trying trying so hard well if he can just come right here and then the other one snatches no he's mine and then coils him up like a snake and he's like i can't breathe but he's also like not a doctor in that one so yeah now this one I oh season two is coming out, but I I didn't know what to do with this one originally, and I was like, you know, what? I've been seeing so many, I'm, I'm I've been seeing this one pop up all the time. The Saint's magic power is omnipotent. Mm. Girl MC, her and another girl are both uh, isekai into this world. It's a lot. Of, I told you, it's a lot of isekai. <clears throat> I'm like, bro. And the MC is the one that they actually summoned, and the other one they accidentally summoned. But she was the one that they, like, actually summoned was treated like shit from the jump. And later, like, her, through her feats of, like, her just wanting to, like, learn more and shit, she ends up, like, healing the army dozens of times over, makes a prince look like an idiot. The king apologized for him. I'm like, damn. Your son ain't shit, but at least you are. Damn. Damn. And yeah, apparently season uh, season two is coming out. So mm. I liked it. I I honestly enjoyed it. It wasn't too sappy or anything. So I would say ten out of ten. First time like a female MC, definitely like an eight out of ten. Like I I enjoyed it. I might watch season two. Not sure yet. Millionaire Detective Balance Unlimited. I watched it because I was curious. Meh. Maybe. Maybe 5 out of 10. Uh, it was okay. It was captivating. But it just like... A lot of aspects just didn't make sense. And they were pushing the story too fast. Uh, maybe if they like took some time to actually care for it. Yes. If not, no. Uh, where, hold on. Where's the one that you sent? Because I watched like 4 episodes of it. Let me get to the group chat. Uh, oh, so we got Masamune Kun's Revenge, right? Yeah. Is that the one you talking yeah. about? So I watched like four right. episodes of that, and then I just stopped because they. What, what was your? Effect. Um. Oh, season one is dubbed. Well, at the time, it wasn't dubbed. Like, they, they were dubbing one episode at a time. Just like uh, season two of Misfits, uh, Misfits of Demon Academy. Only season one is fully dubbed, and all the way up to episode six is fully dubbed in English. Everything else, not so much. Um, I watched I, all of season one in dub. I don't know what happened. For you. Because you watched it after it was done. I was watching it as it was coming. I was like, oh, okay, cool. No, I, I watched... So yeah, season one done, but then season two isn't finished because it just got done. So like season two is still getting dubbed. Yes, there's a second season. We get to see the story. My boy, I was screaming at the TV for about a good two weeks. Like, yo, how are we fumbling the ball? Right? So oh, let me give y'all the quick just rundown. Break up with her. Right? So, my man's got his heart broken. But you see, here's the thing. Do you know what actually happened? No. So, do you care if I continue? No, I know. He, he used to be fat. And he liked her. And she said something to him. So, he lost a shit ton of weight to but, look pretty. But there's, but, there's, but there's more to the story. I mean, there's so much more. If, if you would like to divulge. I know, but I'm asking before. This is my spoiler warning. I'm asking for forgiveness now. Go ahead. 
<laughs> All right. So, of course, as we know, my guy used to be fat, chubby, whatever you want to call it, right? But he still had the love from the chick who was above all, the cruel prince. Right? Next thing you know. I was going to call her Ice Bitch for a second. And so, basically, right, she got an attitude problem, this, that, third. To be expected. We, we, we all attracted to that. We, we know this. Anyway, we find out that um, she pretty much rejects him in the cruelest way possible. Hold on to that. Hold on to that, though. Right? So we meet him and her. We find out that she has a servant. Let's not forget about the servant. Keep keep that in play, right? Because servant's all, always all, there. All, all rich bitches always have a servant. Huh? All rich huh? bitches always have a servant. Right? Exactly. Right? So my guy comes in. He's like, yeah, I purposefully went up to the mountains and trained, which is what I tell a whole bunch of women. I'm like, yeah, um, cool. After they hit me with the L, rejection, I go and I glow up and I just get off the grid for a while. And I do some mad training on myself. And then I come back, you know, 10 times better. And they're like, oh, my God. I'm like, yeah, this is your fault. I just hope you know. Oh, my God. Anyway. Oh, my God. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's what I mean when I say, <laughs> oh, it's time to go up to the mountain. Uh, I got plans in the woodworks. So, yeah, he comes back. He, tra- he applies for the school and gets transferred in freshman year. It's like, yeah, I'm here to complete my mission. I'm ready now. I've had enough prep time. I already know. He's Mr. Bitches now, okay? He's so fine looking. He's changed his diet and whatnot. He's now essentially Mr. Bitches. So he goes through. He gets her to fall in love with her. Now he's still like, yo, I'm about to crush your dreams and your heart the same way how you did mine. This is a man with conviction, okay? Right? So, blah, 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 we get on. Some dude, well, some chick. No, there's actually multiple women, actually. Right? So, there's multiple women involved. There's a minor cat fight between one that's like, oh, I remember you from the party. Because that's how they all got introduced to each other. Because, again, your parents can't arrange for a marriage. Hopefully, mine does not. Hopefully mine does not. Um Yeah. So they're like, oh, okay, cool, you know, you're a good choice, whatnot, this, that, the third, and they all meet up as kids. Mind you, everybody's still innocent minded at the time. He gets the girl that he wants. Cool. Now he's like, How do I destroy her soul? But at the same time he begins to like actually develop real feelings. And shit. So it's like, ah, wh- which way are we leaning towards? He's like, nah, I still got this resolve. I'm a, I'm gonna finish the job. I got you, right? Some, some chick from the party again, right? Like you said, the, the rich poor and the rich rich. So this rich poor person comes in, fakes to be a whole dude, and is like, yeah, I'm him, right? Cause she's. She's built different. She's built like a dude, but like a chubby dude, right? So she fakes to be him just to get to the girl's money because his, I mean, because her family is struggling and her little sister is in the hospital type shit. Mind you, this is exactly coming out of that minor cat fight that I told you about between the girl that's on um, a whole bunch of medicine that almost died trying to compete. For the main character, bro. Yes. Yes, bro. Please. Because from what I know, where I stopped was the, I think like an episode or two. I told you there was more. After the dude finds out like her little secret. And that's like, she needs to eat a lot. Because she's like just really skinny and her metabolism is really high. Oh, yeah. No. That's also bullshit. That's also bullshit. Let me just get that out there. That's bullshit. Let me finish, okay? When I told you there was more, there's more. You see how your reaction is? Like, hold on, wait a second. Maybe I should go back and finish it. <laughs> yeah, you should. But it's too late now. You already let me rip. It's done. El Drago! 
So pretty much, right? Boom. We get into it, and dude straight up punches his fake in the face, and it's like, you trying to steal my girl. I ain't letting this shit happen. And it's Christmas time, right? Gee. Yeah. Yeah. Right? (laughs) So he does that. They find out the truth. Because after that one punch, the shirt comes undone. And it's like, why are you looking like this? You're a girl. I just punched a girl in the face trying to take my girl. What what the fuck's going on here? (laughs) This is not equal rights, equal fights. But I mean... Uh, originally hey, was hey, what, what's his face said the, these hands are rated e for everyone i mean yes you're right rated e for everyone for sure but he, he thought you know this was a man-to-man conference probably be like whole time i'm fighting a whole woman over another woman nah that's a whole, i ain't signed up for this you know it's that the code of honor jumps in right boom so we proceed on he gets the girl again Right? Off and on, off and on. Then she reads the book of the whole plan. Like, I'm gonna get my revenge on this woman. Exactly written in the book. So now she's heartbroken because she's like, damn. Everybody's like, he doesn't love you. And she's been telling, she's been told this multiple times, especially by the chick who almost died because she fell in love with him. And wanted to be a home wrecker. Yeah, we have some home wreckers in the story, bro. Okay, when I say I, when I say I look for a good romance story, it has to be good. Okay, it gotta be there. It gotta be up there. Y'all see this man's face, and we not even there. We just hit season two. I'm about to wrap it up full circle. All Wait. right, so get back to the servant. Hold on, That's let's get back to the. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. Let's get back to the servant now. Right. Because now, as we know, the main character girlfriend has read the book. But the main character no longer feels that way. But the servant knows because the servant has been helping out the main character the whole time being an op. Now, she reads the book. Girl goes home to the servant crying. And it's like, he doesn't love me, right? Servant's like, that's bullshit. And I can tell you that because I'm constantly with him and you know this. Right, but she doesn't know this, and she forgot, so she slipped up. On top of that, she develops feelings for him. Also, she's hiding a dirty secret. You know what that secret is? The night that began the whole story. The girl was sick. The boy, as we know, was getting jumped. Homie was outside getting jumped, trying to get through the gates. Right? Uh Boom! Comes up with the flowers, like I love you. She's sick in bed, but the servant is still in the room. She's constantly in the corner. So guess who who originally called this man Pig's Foot? Which is why she only refers to him as Foot. Yes, the servant did it. The servant home wrecked a whole relationship from the age of six years old because she was like, I'm about to lose my best friend to this boy. Yeah. Uh huh. Home wrecked that shit completely. Then got feelings for this man. Went all the way to grandpa's house after he gets rejected by the girl that he called feelings for that he was supposed to be getting revenge on. Gets told the truth, rejects her, then spins back, and they finally end up together. Is that not a good ass story? You 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 just like damn. You still stuck on the whole. Damn, it really be your old niggas, right? Uh huh. Yes, I know you exactly. stuck on that. I know I'm you like, stuck it, on that. I, I, I'm like, damn, you really be doing that. Hey, sometimes it be your own people. She was sometimes like, I'm fearful like of that. being I'm... alone. But again, they're six years old, and she's like, this is my only friend because I'm stuck being a servant 24 seven. Because let's not forget, cruel princess does have an attitude problem. So. It, it, it comes full circle, bro. She wrecked a whole flourishing relationship that was going to be arranged anyway. Let's not forget that. The parents already had a mixer. Remember, the mixer happened when they were children. That's why 
the other girl that was trying to be a home record was like, I remember you from the party, and he's like, I don't remember shit. Let me be honest. If if it wasn't food being thrown in my face, I don't care. Now, the girl with the high metabolism, the cruel princess, that's straight bullshit, like I said. You know why? She started eating a whole lot of sweets and whatnot because of him. From when they were younger. It was like, I fell in love with this man. Yeah. Honestly, I kind of want to watch it just to get to the happy ending. Just to get to the happy ending. When I say I was screaming like, my boy, what is he doing? What are we here? Oh, I'm sitting here thinking to myself, like, do, do I need to, like, ask the writers of Attack on Titan to insert Aaron Yeager in this point? Because I'm just like, did you forget why we was here? Did you Stop forget why we was on. here? Because I get, you know, there was a turning tide of, oh, I want revenge versus, okay, I actually do have feelings. It's crazy. And mind you, that's in a span of 26 episodes. Wild. On the end. Wild. Right? My one just carried all of that isekai that you just displayed. And you just sitting here like, damn, I, I need to go back and watch this shit. I mean, I'll... <clears throat> so, so a show I, I'm in the middle of watching besides, like, the ones that, like, the last couple episodes are being dubbed. Uh, I watched, I'm watching Call of the Night. Why do these intros go so goddamn hard? Like, I, I, I want to revisit an episode that we did, like, when we first started. <clears throat> Obviously, like, editing skills are so much better now than they were when we first started. Well, you so, keep like, on blocking out. Oh, hold on. But uh, I kind of want to re- revisit that intro episode. Like, do, do Oh, so do, we spinning back? We we going to spin back, like, almost four years later. We, we spinning back, and we, we going to do that again. Because some of these intros for some of these songs, for, for some of these animes, slap way too hard. And then when you look at the lyrics, holy shit, it is a pile of gold. When you look up Domestic Girlfriend, wild, wild, where it starts off just like the guitar, piano, do no do I know. I tried bringing you to the light earlier, dude. Wild, wild. Uh, Cause I, 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 I was trying to before. be nice and not spoil shit, it's but now wild. you see why I gotta spoil shit. Now you see why I gotta do it. Yeah. Cause I'll I'm be... like, bro, right, you you missing so, out. So sometimes when you're like, man, you just gotta watch it. I'm like, but like, why though? And you're like, you just gotta watch it. And then it wasn't until my boy uh, Seymour. Uh, I met him because of uh, another mutual uh, Empress Jasmine, and she's like, "Oh yeah, Seymour is here." I'm like, "What do you mean Seymour is here?" Yeah, like, I, oh, I ain't no, going he even lives hold. in Massachusetts. Like he lives in your home state. You guys live an hour away from each other. I was like, "Word," Ooh. and I'll, I'll send you his thing later. And I was like, "Word, really? Where he at?" I did not see him, but I was only at Anime Boston for like a day. I didn't go to like any of the after parties because I was exhausted. I literally worked a sixty-hour work week, <laughs> drove to to the specific part of Boston, which was like a two-hour drive, and I cleaned for like an hour and a half because my cousin's apartment is dirty. It's not dirty, dirty. It's fur dirty. So it's like, damn, yo, you suck. suffocate because of the fur. So I had to clean all that shit. I wash his dishes after I ordered food, waiting for the food to arrive. And then, like, I literally ate, chilled for a minute. I went to sleep. And, like, 20 minutes after I shut my eyes, guess who gets there? My cousin and his roommate. I'm like, God damn it. I just want to sleep. And then for somehow, some reason, some way, the house, not the house, the apartment got so cold. We're in May. I'm like, yo, why is it so cold outside? It doesn't make any sense. And then, like, as I'm leaving later in the day to go home, I see his roommate, big body like me, a little bit shorter, Mm -hmm. has her window half open. 
I'm like, this is why I'm dying. <laughs> because you don't like the heat. I don't like heat. But I need to survive, woman. I need to survive. Give me just This man second. forgot about hot flashes. 